It's warm this weekend, but how about highs in the 80s next week? Stay there, I'll be right back. heading into yet another above normal weekend here. Temperatures today will be topping out in the mid 90s, 95, 96. The humidity is not that bad, but unfortunately it's still way warmer than we should or really want to be here. And then 72, 73 degrees overnight. So even though overnights are a little bit on the warm side and our mornings will be muggy, but we will stay mostly dry, not quite as humid in the afternoons. Now today for our kind of our norms here, sunrise 718, excuse me, 719 a.m., 714 p.m. sunset. So yes, we have flipped those and the nighttime hours are now longer than the daytime hours. And that's making it harder to warm up. If we were back in August with this high pressure system, we'd probably be back in the 105 range. But for now, uh, we are right around the mid 90s, which is quite a bit above our high. We're about 10 degrees above our normal high here, 86 degrees, and that continues to drop. And there is good news to be had, not quite with this though. We are looking at an air quality alert today. Just the combination of warm temperatures and low winds makes it to where, yes, we do have to watch out for higher pollution levels in the air. So if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, maybe just try to avoid outdoor activity. Now, here's what I wanna show you. Number one, we have this activity in the Gulf. Don't expect much from that. Plenty of rain up in the Midwest, and then there's actually flooding issues, a state of emergency over in New York. I was looking at some live uh, video of New York City of Times Square, and plenty of rain falling there, and plenty of flooding issues. Here, we don't have flood problems, but we do have a system on the way. We have high pressure in place right now, there's this first system that's not going to bring us anything. This will head on to the Northeast, continuing the rain in the Midwest. This is the system we have to watch for, just coming ashore in the Pacific Northwest. That will continue on and should arrive here around midday Wednesday. If you saw the forecast yesterday, I was saying late Wednesday, looks like it's ahead of schedule. So our temperature for Wednesday has actually dropped. I'm gonna position myself here, make this a bit of a surprise if you haven't seen the forecast this morning yet. So the mid 90s can continue, we're looking at 95, 94, 93 temperatures as we get into the weekend kind of start to drop a little bit. Monday, Tuesday, we should be 93, 92, so low 90s. Southeast winds increase though, so the winds will crank up a little bit. Morning humidity should go up a little bit, but the afternoons look to still stay dry. That high pressure is going to keep bringing uh, warmer, or excuse me, drier air that will mix down. And then here comes the big change, Wednesday. Temperatures down to 89, could be in the upper to really mid to upper 80s on Wednesday if we keep peeling back the timing on that front. I still have a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Right now though, looks like the front will arrive before daytime heating, so the severe weather chances don't look that great. And then could be more rain on Thursday. Look at that low, 83 degrees. And as we get into the weekend, as we're looking at football time, we could be looking at temperatures around 80, possibly the upper 70s. It kind of depends on what some of this cool air does. We're still seven, eight, nine days away from next weekend. So just, you know, make sure that you understand we're still a ways out from this point and there can be changes in the forecast, but so far they're trending well. So highs in the 80s overnights in the mid to upper 60s, we will take it. And that's right around where we should be here. In fact, like I say, we could be below normal. So we have to stick around with the, continue putting up with the warmer temperatures for a few more days before the cold front comes in the middle of next week. So stay tuned. I will keep you updated on the forecast as we get closer, the forecast gets refined as we look at our next chance of rain and finally cooler weather.